Hey everyone, Justin Tejeda here with The Smartest Mover. Today I'll be showing you guys how to move a baby grand piano. So interestingly enough, I have never moved one of these before, so I thought it would be a good idea to document the process. We definitely learned a lot from this first time around, so I'll just walk you through the process. And please forgive me in advance for any weird camera angles, as I did not plan to make a video until last minute. So right now we are just going to prep the loose pieces on the piano, close the top cover, and then we'll close the cover for the keyboard. Next we'll throw two pads over the top and use some stretch wrap to hold it all in place. Remember to give yourself enough room to go around the whole piece so you're not bumping into the walls or tripping over anything. Now that we got the top side of the piano wrapped, you can go ahead and walk around it, check your work, pet the piano if you want, just don't get weird with it. Okay, moving on. Next, we're gonna grab another pad. We'll fold it a few times, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to position that folded pad underneath the leer. As you can see, I kinda gave him a little cat cow to help lift the piano. So the pad slightly elevated one of the legs. This allowed us to get access to remove it. On this piano, it only had two screws that required a flathead screwdriver. Very easy to come off. Um, after you get those screws out, you do have to shake the piano leg a little bit. It has like a small bracket that's holding it in place. Um, we just kind of shook it until it finally slid out. So now that we tipped it over to its flat side, we're going to go ahead and remove the two other legs. Now on this one in particular, you can see that I removed both screws and it still was attached to that bracket and it was giving me a little bit of trouble just getting it off. And you're going to see that whenever I, I wiggled it, I stepped away from it for a second and it ended up just falling off. Watch. So yeah, that's the secret. You just shake the leg a little bit, leave it unattended, and it should fall right off. But seriously though, uh, just make sure that you take it off completely before doing what I did. Um, next, you'll just see that I wrap up the legs and I, I try to keep the screws with the same leg so we're not mixing anything up. I just ball up the screws inside a stretch wrap and then stretch wrap it around the leg. Now this is the final piece that we have on the piano. 
uh, to remove. This is called the Leer, I believe. Now it looked a little bit complex, so I just wanted to take some video of it just in case we did get confused. But the process of removing it was pretty simple. Take off this block because it looks like it's already it just slides in. Yeah, these metal up things. front. But these parts, so this arm can stay. I think these all pop up. Oh, nice. Learning. <laughs> oh, nice. Cushion side goes on the top. So then it'll just be screw, screw, screw. Yeah. Oh, yeah, bro. So after removing those three little bars, all you have to do is remove three other screws. One for the main base and then two of those smaller ones that connect right to the piano. And that's about it. It was a pretty simple process. And this one comes off just like the other legs. Now we added one more pad just to the very bottom side of the piano so that we don't get any damages or if it rubs up against anything, it'll be okay. We just wanna protect the piece in full. Go ahead and stretch wrap that up and then I'm gonna go ahead and show you how we got it onto a four wheel dolly. Okay, so here we just tilted it to one side and I got a four wheeler that I'm gonna put right underneath it. Now the first time we put it under, we actually had it leaning too much to one side, so it was gonna be off balance. So you're gonna notice that we had to do it again. Um, just make sure that you have it centered. And if you don't feel comfortable, just do it until you have it exactly how you want it because this is a very expensive piece and we don't want to make we want to make sure that it doesn't tip over or fall over plus on this particular house we had a few steps that we had to go down so we want to make sure that everything is safe and secure Okay, now that we have our piano on the four-wheeler and it's centered in place, we're going to go ahead and make sure that it's secured on the four-wheeler by using two sets of ratchet straps. Now one little tip with these ratchet straps, you definitely want to make sure that you pull out all the slack before using the ratchet. This is going to allow for a tighter pull and it's not going to have all the extra slack balling up in the mechanism. Now, if you've never used one of these before, I'm going to show you real quick. I like to imagine it as an alligator's mouth and I actually stick the strap right through the mouth and when it comes out, it looks like it's tongue, right? I don't know if that makes sense to anybody, but that's how it makes sense to me. Um, again, we're going to go ahead and do it right over the top. Connect the two metal hooks and then pull out all the slack just to make sure we have that tight fit once again. Okay, finally, we got it all strapped up. Looks good. We have it secured to the four-wheeler. Now it's time to move it to the U-Haul. There she is. Got her all strapped up in the U-Haul. So typically we'd use a different type of strap, but uh, 
The U-Hauls don't have the E-Track strap, so you know, we tied her down, used a couple bungees. And then we got some of the piano parts in here just to make sure everything is safe and secure. I also kind of threw a couple things in there to make sure it does not go anywhere. So, pray for us. <laughs> Moment of truth. She looks good. Okay, now that we got it into the new house, we're gonna go ahead and do everything in reverse order. So, first things first, remove the orange ratchet straps. Then we need to take it off of our four-wheeler. So, just go ahead and lean it back, remove the four-wheeler, and then we can bring it back down. Then we're gonna go ahead and remove just the first layer of the pad. We don't wanna take off the full pad yet, just that bottom layer so we can get all of our legs back onto the piano. Okay, so we're actually gonna start with the center piece first. I believe it's called the layer. Again, there was only one screw on the base. It was a flat head, so we'll get that one in. And then we have two smaller ones that connect directly to the piano. We're gonna connect those, and then we need to put all of those little bars in place. So this part was actually not really complicated. All you had to do was line up the bar with uh, its corresponding holes. So none of the bars should be cr crisscrossing. They should all run parallel. So they're pretty easy to find which one goes where. There's a little bit of friction in between them, but all in all, it's a pretty simple process. I'm gonna go ahead and grab the camera just so you can see a little zoom in of the bars. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and put the legs back on. Now what I did whenever I stretch wrapped all the legs, I went ahead and marked which leg was which, so I'll put uh, back center, left, right. And this is just to make sure that we put everything on in the right spot again. Um, now this one was simple, we just gotta get it back into the bracket and then it's just the two flat head screws. Okay, now that we have the third leg back on, we're gonna get ready for the fun part, which is flipping it back over onto its top side. Now we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna fold up a pad and put it under the leer, but we're also gonna put one under that back leg just to make sure the legs are protected and nothing happens. All right. All right. Should we get one under that leg or no? Mm -hmm. What do you think? No. Feel good about that one? As you can see, I did not feel real good about it. So we did end up putting a pad right under that back leg. Now, we're just gonna be careful here. We're, we really wanna make sure that not a lot of that weight is directly on those legs. So we're gonna try to pick it up slightly just to alleviate some of that weight. 
and then we're going to go ahead and put it right on those pads. So here's a little example of how I put all the screws into the stretch wrap. We're going to go ahead and put the last leg on. We have a little bit of that clearance to give me some room to attach it. And right here, I'll show a little video of how I got the little two screws on. Again, pretty self-explanatory. Um, after we get this, we'll just remove that last pad and we should be good to go. It's just the practicality of it. Then let's load them up on your U-Haul. You can display them with pride. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know. If you found this video helpful, please make sure to give a thumbs up, like, share, subscribe. And if you want to see more videos on how to move furniture, wrap furniture, or anything pertaining to your next move, please check us out at The Smartest Mover. Thanks, everyone.